Both modalities introduce electromagnetic energy into the tissue that's converted to heat. So what these modalities have in common is that the ultimate currency for dealing with the fat is to heat it up, uh, arguably making it more available for liposuction. Most liposuction is done with patients awake. So under the proper circumstances, meaning the area to be treated is available and the patient is psychologically prepared to put up with a very modest amount of discomfort, probably 90% of the liposuction that's performed is done with the patient awake using what's called tumescent anesthesia. By this, the fatty tissue is infiltrated with a watery solution that contains a local anesthetic. And this makes the procedure very tolerable. Liposuction patients will be up and about doing their daily affairs the very next day. There is discomfort and return to athletic activity depends upon the areas that are treated, the magnitude of the entire process, and the individual pain perception of the patient. Usually within about six to eight weeks, 75 to 80 percent of the result will be achieved, but the very final results may take as long as six months to a year. The rule of thumb is if, if you pinch an area on your body and there's more than an inch between your two fingers, that is potentially an area that can be successfully treated by liposuction. But there are other variables, and this is where you go to someone who is board certified in plastic surgery and has done this often. Um, it's important to know that the skin over that area to be treated is going to accommodate the new volume. And there's some other variables as well. So if you think that an area is worthy of treatment, then you can consult with a plastic surgeon to make certain that uh, he agrees that this is a uh, suitable course of action for a particular problem.